what is the psychological impact of coronavirus at the moment in Malta? Should we be worried at this stage? Are we prepared? Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Mark Schwereb and I am here today once again with our top virologist in Malta to give us an update to tell us what's going on and more importantly what the plan is. Chris, hello, good afternoon. How hello, are you? hello. Hi, right, Chris. Nice to see you again. Chris, so we spoke a bit about, uh, in our first clip, about the impact, and we had about 125,000 views. That's a quarter of the Maltese population, so mm -hmm. thank you very much. And also from people from abroad. As, as well, of colleagues. course. And in fact, it's, good, it's a good thing that you're mentioning this, because our example, our initiative, our crisis initiative, is being followed up across the globe. People are interviewing experts in the field, and we are actually trying to make headway. But Chris, let me ask you again, should we be worried or not? At the moment, we're doing sentinel surveillance. We're looking at anyone who sneezes, coughs and so on here in Malta. Um, we're getting the definition cases for people coming from high risk areas. And thankfully, up till now, we haven't found a single case with COVID-19 here in Malta. We're still continuing our um, sentinel surveillance. We've expanded this even much more because now we know that there are cases all around us, France, Germany, Italy, and so on. Of course, one day this will happen that we will get cases, but from the facts we're getting from our colleagues, for example, in Italy, all right, Spallanzani Hospital, we know that now the, the rate, the numbers of people getting cured from the COVID-19 infection are much more than the people who are getting the complications. So actually we know that the peak is being reached and the number of cases will very soon start going down as well. Brilliant, so there's a plan, we are prepared, as I said, we are all called to be members of this crisis team. Once we're prepared, we have a strategy and the strategy is being implemented in Malta. But Chris, so what should we do if somebody has a cold, a cough or has a fever at home? What not to do is to go to casualty or to the health center. There is the helpline. I always forget the number, but maybe we'll you can put it down on the kit. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Uh, people will phone there and they will be giving them advice. If they feel that this is a possible case of COVID-19, then the public health officers will come over, take the swab, send it to us, and we have three runs on a daily basis. So every few hours we'll be issuing the results on a daily basis. So it's a quick service. So Fantastic. We'll so we're all organized, we're all prepared, as I keep saying. Let's all be part of this crisis team once again. So Chris, what happens with somebody who has anxiety, phobias, or obsessive compulsive disorder with cleaning? Is wiping that door handle once enough to kill the virus or should it be done more than once? It depends whether this is a home or whether this is a public area. Because okay. once you've cleaned the, the handle or the bench surface and so on, then you're clean. But if someone else puts his hand on that handle, all right, especially if someone is a bit ill, etc., it's not just the COVID-19, but any virus can contaminate that surface. Right. So it's more personal hygiene. So if you had to touch that door handle, then wash your hands or wipe it with alcohol wipes. So it's more on a personal basis than public cleaning. But still, I would advise cleaning of buses, cleaning of public places, handles, etc. But ultimately, the onus rests on us to clean our hands. Okay, but once, not a hundred times. No, absolutely. Right, so all those people who are struggling with OCD, anxiety, phobias, reach out. It is difficult. We have been inundated with calls and we're all telling people the same thing. There is a plan. Focus. Remember, being prepared is key. And let's all together overcome this crisis. So when it comes to our shores, physically and not psychologically, we'll all be prepared. One last thing, Chris. Those people who actually have an illness or a virus, should they wear a mask at home? If, if you're on your own at home, quarantined, absolutely not. Right. The, the mask is there as a reverse barrier. So if there are any droplets, not to infect anyone else. So what does reverse barrier mean? It means to protect your, uh, to protect others from your own sneezes rather than you getting protected. So all these people who are walking outside with open masks and so on, that is not giving anyone any protection for right. everyone. So you hear this here, people, there's no protection for just walking outside, only those who are sick and at home. And finally, one last thing, anybody who feels that he needs help, get in touch. 
get in touch with our crisis team and get in touch with the health authorities. As I said, we are there for you. One final question, Chris, which people are asking us on our crisis line. Is there a cure? Is a research going in, uh, currently at hand to find a cure for coronavirus? Oh, lots and lots of research. Um, first of all, our immune system is the best cure. 80% of people don't require any medicines, nothing. Nature will cure us by itself. Right. Then there will be about 14% who might have some complications and need medical help. Of course, these will certainly have the medical help because we are well prepared for this. But in the majority of cases, our immune system are the white cells, the soldiers in our blood, which are all going to fight back and will be cured in a natural way. Right, so we are willing, we are willing ladies and gentlemen, let us not allow panic and excessive anxiety to throw us into a crisis. Thank you very much, Dr. Barbara. Pleasure. I have been Dr. Mark Schwerer. Watch out and look out for the next video online. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please get in touch. We're all equipped and ready to go. Thank you. Vigilance, but not panic. And if you have, need any help, get in touch. Goodbye.